Hi again everyone, this is Manj. Welcome to our new video about Ramadan fasting. During the holy months of Ramadan, which occurs on the 9 months of the lunar-based Islamic calendar, all Muslims must abstain from food and drink from dawn to dusk for 30 days. If you fast during Ramadan, you change your eating and sleeping patterns. Still, your body's biological clock also undergoes a series of physical and mental changes. You're hydrated and hungry due to fasting. Your body slows down your metabolism to use energy as efficiently as possible. But you can still enjoy fasting and capture the spirit of Ramadan simply by drinking enough water and watching what you eat during Sahar and after Iftar. For supporting us to make more efficient videos, please subscribe our channel and like this video. Fasting during Ramadan means abstinence from all food or drink, including water and chewing gum, from dawn to sunset. It is recommended that before sunrise, Muslims eat a pre-fast meal known as sahar. This meal often resembles breakfast, but it may include more dinner-like foods in some cultures. After sundown, Muslims break their fast with iftar, a meal that usually starts with dates and water or milk, followed by dinner. Muslims are permitted to snack at night between those two meals. Keep in mind this recommendation during Ramadan fasting. Stay hydrated. Try to have water between iftar and sahar to prevent dehydration due to excessive sweating. Try to increase the fluid intake to keep you hydrated throughout the day. You can also opt for watermelon in the sahar meal or eat it after iftar. Cut down on caffeinated drinks such as coffee, tea, or cola because caffeine can make one urinated more often, causing dehydration. Even fizzy drinks with sugar will add colors to your diet, so stay away from them. Try drinking fluid several times throughout the night, even if you aren't feeling too thirsty. First signals that your body is already dehydrated. Remember, breaking your fast at iftar with water is traditional. Still, it also ensures that you get the best source of hydration into your body before becoming distracted with food. But be careful and don't go overboard with drinking too much at one time. Drinking a few gallons all at once can dilute your body's electrolytes, including a potentially fatal condition called water intoxication. Opt for healthy foods during iftar. Try breaking your fast with soap or dates. Because dates are laden with fiber and will help you ease digestion and relieve constipation too. Choose whole grains, skinless chicken, and fish to get a good portion of healthy protein. Milk, yogurt, and eggs can help you to get enough protein. Say no to fried, salty, and processed foods high in fat or sugar. Eat in controlled quantities as suggested by experts. Overeating can lead to acidity, indigestion, sluggishness, and fatigue. Salty foods can cause bloating and make you uncomfortable. One of the most mistakes is to eat snacks after iftar to suppress your appetite and then go to sleep, skipping sahar and staying hungry until the next iftar. You should always eat during sahar. Preferably, right before fasting starts. Eating before bedtime or avoid eating during sahar may cause serious low blood sugar problems and dehydration the next day. So, what should you eat during the sahar to feel more energetic throughout the day? A light, healthy, and feeling breakfast is a great option. Before sunrise, you can eat dairy products and fresh vegetables such as cheese, eggs, tomatoes, and cucumbers. And cucumbers. Additionally, you can always enjoy soup, vegetables cooked in olive oil, and fruits. In addition to fruits, you should eat whole wheat bread and pasta, bulgur wheat rich in carbohydrates and fibers which are good for your digestive system. Dried fruits like dates, walnuts, and almonds are great food supplements, and they can make you feel full for long hours throughout the day. Pay attention that it's not just the variety of food you eat, but also the portion that play a decisive role in your nutrition. You should choose a smaller amounts and eat wisely.
people tend to eat a lot of food quickly after many long hours of fasting, breaking the fast with easily digestible foods in a good, healthy option. To break your fast, try breaking your fast with soup, then water, so you can hydrate your body after a long day of dehydration and then eat the main course 10 or 15 minutes later. This will prevent excessive food intake by giving you a sense of fullness which will help you which will help your digestive system. Keep moving. Proof fasting can be physically exhausting, try not to be completely passive. If you typically work out the dare if you typically work out during the morning, see how your body feels if you switch exercise to the evening after breaking your fast. By chewing your food thoroughly and taking a walk an hour or two hours after iftar, you can aid your digestive and cardiovascular systems. Strenuous exercise is not a good idea during the day because you can quickly become dehydrated. Suppose you have any special or medical conditions, it is best to discuss them with a medical practitioner and your religious head before taking up any type of fasting. But everyone cannot fasting in Ramadan. Who are they? The following are usually considered exempt for fasting during Ramadan. Young children, pregnant or breastfeeding women, people who are traveling long distances, those who have an acute illness, those with a chronic illness who would be harmful by fast, like diabetes, those who are not able to mentally comprehend the reason for the fast, and elderly people. Thanks for watching us. To make more efficient videos, please subscribe our channel, like and share this video.